is Atlas's first session of learning the ground tie. He does already know the stay, so I'm going to be using that stay cue to help him out here. So his stay cue is a forehead touch and the word whoa. Now I'm going to be adding in the rope. So my goal here is to just get that cue and transfer it from the head to the rope. So my goal here is I put the rope down, I give him the forehead cue, and then I step back, I click, and then I come back. So I did out of order that time. <laughs> so toss on the ground, forehead cue, take a couple steps back, click while I'm back, and then come back to feet. So I'm getting a little confused too, but that's the goal here. So new cue, old cue, two steps back, click, and then he stayed and I come back to him. So my goal is to teach him that if when the rope come, falls on the ground, he is to stay in ground time. And he already knows the stay really well. You've seen his videos with stay multiple times. Uh, if your horse doesn't know that, I would do that first before you ask for this. Um, unless you want to just train only the rope cue, because you could do the same process without the forehead cue. So you can just have when the rope's on the ground, you take a half step back, you click, you feed, and you build up the amount of distance that you go away from your horse, and you just have that one cue of the lead rope on the ground. But in his case, since he already has a cue for stay without a halter on, I'm just adding that in. I'm just transferring it. When he has a halter on, when the rope falls on the ground, that's your ground tie slash stay cue, and I'm just using that first. So I'm just teaching a new cue for this behavior. Um, and then I'm picking up the rope so I can re-cue. So that's my new cue, old cue, I'll click, and then I'll come back and feed. And he's doing excellent. What, at this point, I'm just going to keep doing this and building up the amount of steps that I can take away from him. Then I will fade out the old cue, so it'll just be when the rope falls on the ground, I can take steps away from him and he stays, and then I will start walking. So it'll be, I'll be leading him, I'll put the rope down on the ground, and then I'll walk away from him. And that's kind of the phases and stages of the training here. But he's doing excellent. He's very good at stay. He likes stay because he can probably can stand there and eat. So this is one of his favorite behaviors, but he's doing excellent. Just kind of, right now in the beginning, I like to just stay facing him. Um, like I might do a little bit of walking away straight or I might save that for the next session but or like throw in like one or two of those somewhere but usually that's harder for them is you walking away because they're so used to following you like that so probably here in the next session I'll just walk away forward with him and then I'm going to take him off of the queue here so um, I asked I took off the halter I asked him to come forward with me and then I'll give him his ending jackpot here